from the Institute for Neuropathic Pain in the Netherlands. Okay, I give you one example of an interesting compound. It's developed uh, in Italy, it's polymethyl ethylonamide, and it's a body owned compound. And a body owned compound has been discussed by uh, Rita Riva Montalcini, uh, who is now 102 years old, Nobel Prize winner in 86 physiology. And she said, look into the body owned compound, polymethyl ethylonamide. It's created by each nerve cell and each glia cell as an answer to stress, and neuropathic pain is chronic stress. Our cells are producing this molecule, but not in a sufficient amount. And if you give this body oil fatty compound to patients, and it's in Europe on the market as medical food, uh, and doctors can prescribe it, and uh, we have been using this uh, last couple of uh, half year in 50 patients or more, it's in a granulate, you can put it under the tongue in acute phase of treatment, it's very interesting, and it's in a tablet. And this uh, compound is an example of uh, a drug, a body on compound, which in our hands we could treat um, Lyrica and Pregabaly uh, refractory patients with this compound without side effects and bring them down from pain scores from 8 up to 2. No interactions. So, no problems, no side effects, and I even uh, treated a 90-year-old uh, woman with PIA, chronic idiopathic external polyneuropathy and severe pain, with this compound only. So we have to look over the brim of our heads, and we have to kind of go into other directions to look for these kind of compounds. Can you just say a little bit more about the dosing of your disnormast? Yeah, that's, uh, we always start with, uh, with uh, sublingual granules, 2 times 600 milligram, milligram for uh, 10 days. So you kind of um, expand this, this polymethyl ethylonamide in the entire blood of the patients in a very quick way. So it goes into all the tissues, including the central nervous system. And then we dose after for uh, two weeks with 2 times 600 milligram. And if we reach a stable, acceptable pain score, say, 50% degrees of the initial pain score, or under 4, then we go to th uh, 2 times 300 milligram. And what's the cost? And what is, are there any dangers? Can you, can you have a side effect? Yeah, there, is no, there are, have been treated like 2,000 patients. Meanwhile, there were no side effects of significant not in blood chemistry. Uh, if you give the uh, granulate, one in 20 patients perhaps finds it a very slightly dizziness or a redness in the face, because it's a very, very low um, vasodilatator, and that's because it's a cannabinoid. So people who understand the mechanism of the cannabinoids might understand why that's an issue. And what's the cost? Uh, it's around 20 euro for a package or of uh, 20 tablets, and because it's a diet, food for medical purposes, the health insurance, at least in Holland, uh, pay for it, or our patients, uh, or uh, they can tax deduce it. from the Institute for Neuropathic Pain in the Netherlands.